wants to just, I'm Elsie, I'm from Kambara. Um, so we're a little village out there that gets forgotten. Um, <laughs> we try to do lots of stuff out there, but um, I just had a little concern. I don't know if it would be council or it could be the roads. Um, so the train track out there is very concerning. Um, two semi-trucks nearly collided with the train the other day, literally like would have been 10 metres and they didn't stop at this stop sign. So I'm just wondering, I don't know if it could be a council thing to maybe put some lights up there because overnight you, I can sit out there and it's pitch black and you can't even see any trains at all. You can't see that there's carriages, nothing. So I don't know if that could be something council could fix in the future or, yeah. I can't remember whether it was beginning of 2017, April, May, something like that, at a meeting that came up. Uh, it was put to the RMS for, for lights to go there, uh, and the RMS rejected it. And council can argue for those things, but ultimately, I think it's 750000 or was $750,000 to put lights up. You know, you can almost argue the life's worth a damn side more than, uh, than, than the lights. Um, but quite simply, uh, we didn't win the argument with the RMS and um, the stop sign prevailed. Uh, so that's sadly the simple answer. Yes, so um, in regards to that, both council and the railway are responsible for that, okay? So RMS, that's, that's actually a regional road. It is not an RMS road. So it's a council asset that gets funded by RMS. Now, we can go ahead and talk to the railway and say, hey, we want these lights up. Then we can go look at some grant funding or something like that and go down those paths. But certainly every railroad crossing should have lights and boom gates because they're very dangerous. And the fact of the matter is that we need to search for these avenues to try and make these places more safe for our residents. Thanks. I think, you know, our lives are worth more than $750,000. And to pass the buck, we, believe it or not, we're all standing to be politicians, local politicians. And not fighting the fight is not a real good representation, I think. We've got other politicians we should be going to, but we shouldn't be just taking the no, you know, from the RMS. Obviously they're going to say that, because every town wants it. Let's take the fight up, take it to the people who are going to make the decisions, the politicians, and overrule the RMS. You know, we're giving up on too many fights. We are giving up on too many fights too quickly and too easy. Look at telehealth. The council told us we weren't going to go to telehealth. There was no fight. We need to be fighting, not just giving up on a letter from an RMS saying, we can't help you. If you watch TV, there's a thing on there now at the moment with yeah. Wimble Crossings. Yeah. Um, I don't get enough time to watch TV, but every level crossing does take life. So as Tim just said, seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars for one life. You know, and the RMS are pushing this on TV at the moment to have lights at every level crossing. So the point I'm making is we should be pushing for level crossing for flashing lights. I'm a truck driver. Sometimes I don't stop. You know? Because you think, oh, there's nothing coming. But it's that split second. And the train's on and you're gone. And you know, like I said, the T V at the moment, RMS are pushing for Flashing lights at level crossing. So, good point. Um, I'll take that on.